We take it for granted these days that anyone can become a missionary, providing they have a sense that God is calling them. Whether you're a plumber or a pilot, a teacher, a doctor or preacher, a builder or a translator, no one questions your right to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. But it hasn't always been so. There was a time when the accepted practice was for missionaries to be male and ordained clergy. This tradition within the established church meant that the giving of communion and the leadership of the church was not open to lay people, many of whom felt called to serve God overseas. At a time when most missionary endeavor was carried out by the established church, this, it could be argued, stifled rather than encouraged the growth of mission, both at home and overseas. But did such traditions have any biblical basis? Did they come from God, or were they the invention of man? One who challenged the then current view on all this was a dentist and a member of the mighty Anglican Church. His rediscoveries of what the Bible taught not only revolutionized mission, they heralded a new era in church life. He was one of the giants of the early missionaries, and yet today, amazingly, very few know his name. He was a pioneer, and through him, an era of 1,500 years was corrected that ordinary Christians can be involved in extraordinary endeavors for the extension of God's kingdom. He rediscovered the missionary methods of Christ and the apostles and showed us how to live by faith. He followed his convictions and his determination to serve the Lord, whatever the cost, and did not simply conform with the pattern of his time. He was one of the first to really demonstrate radical faith living and discipleship, and the impact is felt to this day. Just how he made these discoveries and their impact over the past two centuries is what this program is about.